Hey guys, so today I'm doing a tutorial on a um, brine that I use for turkey or chicken and it's um, something that's been requested by a couple of you is how I make my brine. And this is basically a recipe that I took uh, from Martha Stewart and um, I've used different kinds of brines but I found that the this particular one is my favorite and it does keep your chicken really really moist or your turkey uh, for Thanksgiving and this is basically the ingredients um, that I use I use white wine kosher salt bay leaves peppercorns white peppercorns black peppercorns onion garlic, fennel seeds, and lots of water, and also a mixture of herbs de Provence, which is basically dried thyme, rosemary. What I normally do is I purchase a whole cut up chicken from the grocery store, where they basically cut it up in pieces with the legs, the thighs, the wings, and the breast. Today I'm using a chicken, um, but this brine can work for turkey or any other types of uh, white meat. First thing I do is I roughly chop up onion and garlic, and I've just basically smashed the garlic, and that's where you just get the, um, the blade of your knife and just basically just pound it down like, like that and it opens up the garlic and makes it easy for all the garlic flavor to go inside of your brine mixture. Alright, so because I'm just basically marinating um, a very small portion of chicken, I don't really need a whole lot of brine, so I don't have exact measurements. I normally just eyeball it. Um, during Thanksgiving, of course, you're going to use much larger portions of uh, wine and, and water and salt and whatnot. But because I only have, like I said, about 10 pieces of chicken, I have a really small pan. And um, I'm basically just showing you for demonstration purposes. I've added the onion and garlic inside of my pot as well as all the herbs that were mentioned previously and all the ingredients and I wanted to show you basically how much salt I use. This brine, um, any kind of brine, requires a very very large amount of salt and you can see this is kosher salt and I'm adding a whole lot and that is because uh, this is what's going to basically brine your chicken or turkey and give it uh, lots and lots of flavor. So I have added tons of kosher salt to my herbs and now I'm just going to put in my white wine or beer. And then I'm going to add lots and lots of water. And your brine should always have more water than white wine, so add tons of water. And again, the recipe is the Martha Stewart brine recipe, so she'll have um, the complete measurements that you'll need. And I will post them as well on the um, description box. I'll post the ingredients as well as the measurements so that you know exactly what you need. So I've basically just put my pot on the burner under high, very high heat and I'm just going to bring this up to a boil and that's basically to just pull out the flavors of all the ingredients, pull out the flavors of the herbs, the onions, the garlic. We want everything to basically just come together so by boiling it um, all these flavors will start to come out next thing you want to have is basically just a um, casserole dish or some sort of um, container because the next thing that we're going to do 
is we're going to get these um, freezer Ziploc bags. And we're going to place our chicken inside of them as well as the brine once it's ready. So just in case of any mishaps or leakage, we want to be able to just kind of place them inside of something that will hold any kind of juices that might want to try to escape. So I've placed four pieces of chicken, the leg, the thigh, the breast, and the wing in one bag as well as the other. And I'm just waiting for the brine to be done and I'm going to go ahead and place it inside of each uh, bag. The brine has come to an absolute boil and it's ready but I don't want to put the brine, um, you want your brine to absolutely cool completely before putting it inside of the chicken because you don't want the cooking process to start uh, with the heat of the brine. So my brine has completely cooled and what I did is just put it in a measuring cup only because it has a spout and it's easier for me to place into uh, my little baggie. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I filled my brine into these Ziploc bags with the chicken inside and, and I'm just going to go ahead and place them in the refrigerator overnight and make my chicken tomorrow. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that the recipe was very helpful to you. And thanks for watching. Bye, guys.